Welcome back to Let's Clean Power Wash Simulator. I'm Burning Dog Face. We're here working on one of the Blood Angels Thunderhawks. Shout out to Yornik, who says, I'm a simple man slash child slash man child. I see arse. I hit the thumbs up button. Well, giggling, of course. Oh, and the Imperium, the Orcs, the Eldar, and all the rest will lose their battle sooner or later. Why? Because chaos is change, and the change is inevitable. And also referring to the underside of the, uh, the Knight's pauldrons. Also, that white residue was indeed marzipan. You see, one of the brave soldiers of Chaos had the brave idea of loading some marzipan into his anti-tank weapon. It made warfare not only effective, but also delicious! And the name of this delightful thing? Why, it is Marzipanzer Shrek, of course! <laughs> God damn it. Uh, I have to admit it, I didn't get that until I said it out loud, and then I said, oh god damn it, out loud. <laughs> Oh, yes. I'm just standing here for a nice view. Lower this again. Last time, I discovered I could do this with the battle wings. Sorry, attack wings. Left that one up to uh, show off the fact that I cleaned off that las cannon there. Um, yes. Shout out to Justin Jones, who says... And then Games Workshop realized, a couple years ago, that Warhammer Fantasy was an actually beloved setting, and have now brought it back with Warhammer The Old World. Age of Sigmar, so far as I am concerned, is just so much nonsense, especially given how badly Games Workshop handled the destruction of Warhammer Fantasy's world as its prelude. Oh, I did hear about that. It sounded like kind of a mess. It also kind of sounded like Chaos just objectively won, or something. Like their champion succeeded in his plan, which was to blow up the planet and kill literally every person on it. Except for, uh, Sigmar, the god of the Empire, who just sort of shrugged and built a new universe out of the fragments. Hence, Age of Sigmar. Fuselage chapter M. I might as well clean that off. I've already written arse on the side of the machine. Ball. Or bail, depending on uh, your interpretation. There we go. Understand that there's no actual evidence that Baal was ever considered some kind of demon until the Christians started writing about him. He was just some minor god or other worshipped by the people of the time. And they called him out specifically in their Bible to be... Mistake, uh, unmistakable about it, in their opinion of him. Oh, yeah. I noticed a thing when I was doing going over the footage. I believe over here is where I was washing the, uh, the night. It's gonna be be giant footprints in the ground, but no. Uh, if I saw it correctly... There. Nope. Where did it go? I just saw it with my eyes. Where is it? Oh, there. Right there. Mars. It's put on the side of the scaffolding. Written in exactly the same way as we've seen it on a couple of these machines, which were probably built here and then sent to their uh, chapters or squadrons or whatever. You know, depending on which faction it is. Right, I've been faffing around for far too long, so... What next? This central engine vent. Got a really severe angle. And then 
give it an opposite severe angle. Oh, missed a spot. central engine oh boy okay no no not the huge back bit that's the central engine exhaust so that's cool I'm starting to suspect that this entire vehicle is actually red Sorry, I just realized I uh, forgot to finish the thought earlier with uh, Justin Jones' comment here. Yes, yes, Games Workshop brought back uh, Warhammer Fantasy as Warhammer the Old World. Uh, they handled badly the destruction of Warhammer Fantasy's setting as the prelude. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, and let's not forget, Games Workshop also has the license for the Lord of the Rings tabletop war game. I have no idea how well that product line is going, but at all of the stores I have ever played at, I never saw anyone play it. The only time someone ever bought Lord of the Rings minis was to kitbash some, uh, something, some model or other for Warhammer 40k or Fantasy. I had a friend that used the wings from the Nazgul Fell Beast to make a Tyranid bioform of some sort. That's actually really cool. On the subject of Games Workshop being overly litigious, a woman self-published a novel on Amazon and she used the words Space Marine throughout her novel. Games Workshop, in their infinite wisdom, decided to try and sue her for violating their IP. Amazon got involved and told them to fuck right off with that nonsense. Given that Amazon is way more lawyers in Games Workshop and that they were just wrong, they scuttled away tails tucked between their legs. As I said in a previous vi video, Games Workshop are never the victims. Oh, and another comment from Yornick who says, uh, Hey, Joker is cool and is not, I repeat, is not crazy. He is just a different kind of sane. Also, the sped-up cleaning video at the end of each job needs some yakety sex. You know, the Benny Hill music. I find I can't argue with that. here on the feet. From what I hear, it almost seems like they're trying to, uh, to phase out Slaanesh in their modern stuff. One thing I heard about Age of Sigmar is that, uh... Well, they kind of had the same thing going there with the Elves and Slaanesh that the Eldar and Slaanesh have in this universe. By which I mean, uh... The Elves got so freaky so uh, long that, uh... It created a god of debauchery.
And, uh, apparently in the Sage of Sigmar stuff, one of the things that happened was that the elves, once they were recreated, took the advantage to capture Slaanesh somehow, who had been weakened by the end of the world. And, uh, now they're just holding Slaanesh somewhere and basically squeezing them like a, uh, fruit in order to get all the elf souls back out. That's what I heard. That, uh, in Age of Sigmar, Slaanesh is out, and the fourth Chaos God is now the god of the Skaven, the rat people. The great horned rat. No one is happy about this except for the Skaven and the great horned rat. Like, in-universe, I mean. I remember hearing that, the, you know, they consecrated a new champion of Chaos, and, you know, the other three gods stride forward and give blessings, or corns, like, oh, your battle rage will be unmatched as long as the opponents still live. And, you know, you'd get Nurgle in there saying, oh, now you're immune to every disease ever. You're welcome. Oh, and your blood will poison those who strike you. I don't even know what scene should give you. It would probably be magical somehow. And then the Great Horned Rat strides forward, and the newly formed Champion of Chaos spits in his face and walks away. To the delight of the other gods. most of the stuff out indirectly. Like, I actually learned that from a thread where people were complaining about how much cooler the uh, Warhammer Fantasy slash Sigmar champion of Chaos is than the one in 40k, this Abaddon guy. I understand some of the fans like to call him Abaddon the Armless because one of his original, like, tabletop models had an issue that made it very easy for both of his arms to fall off. why they wouldn't take a villain seriously in this setting. Like, of all the fucking settings... I didn't even mean to clean the actuator. What even is that? Oh, that thing in the middle. Rear landing retraction actuator. What is this? Rear landing trunnion brace. As I was strafing, my eyes caught the movement back there, and once again I thought I wasn't alone in this room, and fuck it, hey man. In my off time, I mean. Maybe it's having an effect, is what I mean. If I was gonna make videos stoned, I would advertise that fact. Because some people are way into that stuff. Markiplier had a really popular series of playing Minecraft drunk. At least until he had to stop because uh, of medical reasons. You can't take alcohol anymore. I think he had a heart attack. There we go. Oh god. And I turn around and all these same things are on the other foot too. And again, if I'm getting anything wrong, I do apologize. You know, I'm an enthusiastic amateur, but enthusiasm can really only carry you so far. It's just kind of intimidating when you look into it and it's like, oh, there's like 50 books written about the Horus Heresy alone. This one. I'll clean off this Hellstrike missile. That does have like a happy face on the front.
Tell you what. I was curious, so... <clears throat> A Hellstrike missile is an Imperial solid-fueled air-to-surface anti-armor missile outfitted with a high-explosive warhead intended for use during ground support airstrikes. It is essentially identical in function to a hunter-killer missile in that it is a guided weapon equipped with an onboard cogitator, or artificial intelligence and known as a Logis engine. Yeah, a cogitator is, uh, different somehow from a computer. They find it less heretical. Uh, sensors and missiles nose transmit information on the location and movement of the target and the surrounding environment to, lo to the Logis engine, which alters the trajectory of the missile in flight by manipulating its stabilizing fins, allowing it to match the target's movements and avoid any obstacles. A Hellstrike missile is larger than its hunter-killer counterpart, and is often fired at high velocity while the aircraft deploying it is in flight. Hellstrike missiles are a common armament on many forms of Imperial military aircraft. In fact, the picture they show isn't from a uh, thunder, a thunder, Jesus Christ, Thunderhawk. It's uh, on the wing of a Imperial Guard Valkyrie gunship. I have the ladder on that. Yes, actually. How the fuck does this work? I'm ducking on the ladder. No, it's a different thing with the pylon holding it. Honestly, I'm kind of surprised. Is it one of their crazy weapons that, like, melts the atmosphere or lights your soul on fire or something? Hate. Right in front of it, god damn it. Okay, okay, where is the little scaffolding? go. One of those down, like five to go. What's that on the end? A main wing heavy bolter. Oh, that's a machine gun! Oh, I see it's two machine guns. It's like you took a big chunk out of the model that they put in the Space Marines' hands and stuck it on this thing. I think I made that observation before. Possibly on the land raider? That would make sense. All right. I was putting it off, but... Oh, yeah. I have to admit it, it is a little discouraging when I, uh, look at all the stuff I've done and I look up in the corner and it says 8%.
position. Those guys scare me. I mean, you know, chaos, you know what you're getting. I'll say that. Whatever the worst thing you can possibly think of is, that's what they're going to do. mentioned malice in passing earlier. the fifth chaos god, the one that represents the uh, self-destructive nature of chaos as a concept. There we go. I just want to say before we finish the video that, um... They originally introduced a god named Malal, whose colors are black and white. As opposed to the, uh, the other chaos gods, who all have vibrant colors. You know, I think Nurgle gets green, Corn gets red, obviously. Uh... Zinch gets purple, and Sonesh gets pink. You know, so it very much stands out to have uh, Malus there, or Malal, even, with uh, black and white. But what caught my attention was this idea of a Space Marine chapter the sons of Malal, black, whose armor is black on one side and white on the other. And, you know, certified traders, they are chaos enthusiasts, indeed. But they only ever attack other chaos armies. They just show up without warning, without, you know, the slightest notification, and they just start fucking murdering. Now, if it's corn, corn doesn't care, because as long as someone is bleeding, he's getting stronger. Blood for the blood god. Uh, the others are probably more pissed about it. And, uh, they're a weird fucking bunch. Because they never fucking say anything. Their war cry is dead silence. You know, they will charge into battle, they will not make a noise when they get stabbed or torn apart. and they exclusively fight other Chaos factions. What gets interesting is that, uh... You know, there was some, again, legal stuff, because, you know, Games Workshop are saints that way, where, uh... I think Malal was originally created by, like, a, one of the writers for a short story or something, and they wanted exclusive rights to the concept, or, you know, he wanted... Or they, I should say, I don't even know who the writer was, uh, wanted you know, like, royalties every time it was used or something. And they ultimately just declared that Malal is not canon. But they 
did swap out the Sons of Malal for a pretty much identical uh, Chaos Legion called the Sons of Malice, like the word Malice. You know, like the off-brand, not legal, you know, legally distinct different uh, version, I mean. And, uh, you know, I would be happy about the part where they just hunt down Chaos armies and slaughter them, were it not for the other thing, which is that, uh... Their traditional rituals to, I don't even know what, maybe celebrate for a battle, prepare for a battle, you know, whatever. Whatever they do that's a ritual, their way of doing it is by going out and having every member of the chapter kidnap someone from any faction. And you bring them back to their, you know, space station hideout, and they eat them alive. So just absolute dead silence inside this space station then a lot of screaming, and then dead silence again. Creepy bastards. They stand out in my mind. I don't think they help Imperial forces. I don't, I don't even know if they, like, you know, fire on anyone that fires on them, or if they would leave. But my impression is that there have been cases where it's like, oh, you know, we're screwed, chaos is all around us, we're gonna die, the sons of malice show up, they slaughter all the chaos things, and then they just leave. Like, not even, like, we have protected you, it's in, well, guess there's nobody left to murder here. And again, you know, once again, do not take any of this as literal canon, you'd want to look into it first. Here is a big heaping bowl of salt for you all to take pinches from. <laughs> Ah, uh, but I ramble. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Clean Power Wash Simulator when we work on more of this, and I think I'll go for the central engine next. After all, without that, we can't even get off the ground. Till then, have yourselves a great day. Later. <laughs>